So, you want to hear another story, huh? One where the very fate of Pandora hangs in the balance. If not, too bad, I'm... Another deadbolt hunter. Handsome Jack's been busy. Right, okay, now we're on the laptop, just gonna load up Horizon. The link will be in the description if you haven't got it already. Just wait for that to load up. Then you're going to want to come to the side here where it says flash drive and go to games, Borderlands 2, and find your character. Then drag it onto the side, go to contents, save game.sav should probably be the only one there if you've just made the character. If not, you should have a lot more. <laughs> Save it to the desktop or to a folder or whatever. Extract successfully. It's minimize horizon. Then load up Gib Save Editor, which will be in the description. I um, when you click open, you're going to want to make sure it's on the right platform. So Xbox 360 for me. Uh, load up your thing but sometimes you will get this error message I'm uh, quite sure what that means yet so if you get that you can just click new it doesn't really matter it doesn't make a difference if you've just made a new character alright so for platform change to 360 or any any other platform that you're on uh, class you can change it to any experience level you can set this to anything but if it's past level 61 you won't be able to play multiplayer so level 61 but I'm just going to put it to level 50 so that because I don't have the DLC at the moment and just click sync and it'll sync the experience points skill points doesn't matter doesn't really do anything the name just set to anything whatever you want head anything except if you set it to one of the costume packs that you don't have it'll just reset to the original head all right so credits you want to go to 99 million 999,999 and then for iridium it's 500 serif crystals is 999 and same with talk tokens fast travel 
you can take any you want but it'll only um, if you haven't actually found any of these then they were actually appear in the game in the backpack you can just create weapons or paste code weapons but I'm just going to quickly create a random weapon which won't be very good choose any of these it doesn't really matter but what uh, parts of the weapon you do like choose will affect the power and things so yeah but I'm just gonna I'm just quickly going through it just to show you all right then that will be there the bank is just the same as the backpack, so I'm not going to mess with that. The raw tab is where all the good stuff is, and I will be doing a more detailed uh, video later on this whole tab. There's a lot in this tab, so yeah, just the about tab. So when you finish, just want to click save. And replace it over your file you extracted and then load up horizon again drag out your profile contents and replace your save game dot sav locate your file and then just click it file replace successfully then you're going to want to click save rehash and resign do it twice if you really want to just to make sure and then that should now be on your USB so yep yeah. now go, go back over to the, to the Xbox so I will see you back at the Xbox Great, another deadbolt hunter. Handsome Jack's been busy. Wait a minute, you're not dead! Yes! Now I can get off this glacier. Claptrap, your metaphorical ship has finally come in. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a CL4P TP steward bot, but my friends call me Claptrap. Or they would, if any of them were still alive, or had existed in the first place. Oh, I've got something for you. Here, take this echo communicator that I totally didn't loot from one of these corpses. It comes with a Class 12 heads-up display, complete with a mini-map. Now, come, come, friend. Let's get you inside. Man, this is great! Now that I've met a mighty vault hunter, I can finally join the resistance in Sanctuary, take vengeance against Jack for killing my product-
Minion! Yep. I'll explain everything. But know this.